So you're joining me now as I uh, boot up my Desire HD, having factory reset, wiped everything, and installed Cyanogen Mod 6.1. Um, and there you go. Look. So as you can see, it's my Desire HD. Look. And it's running Cyanogen Mod. Um, this is the first boot but I can tell you what I would expect, a very vanilla looking um, Froyo. The ROM for this is only 100 meg compared to about 230 of the standard Desire HD ROM with Sense HD, uh, Sense UI and all that, uh, all that stuff. If you want to see how to install it, head to our website hammerjoys.net. This is what I'm doing the video for, it's just a little post on the news. And it's going to be a quick video to have a real quick look. Um, so people get an idea of what Cyanogen Mod is about because I'm sure there'll be some uh, curious people and I'm also fairly sure that a lot of people won't be interested when they see it, it doesn't probably look as pretty as, uh, as the Sense one so as it is the first boot I'm trying might be a bit of a lag as it's just set in bits and pieces, so there we go I think I know how to use it. Actually, did that say? Oh yeah, so it does say. Let's have a learn how to use your Desire HD. Um, let's skip everything if we can. Shush. Yeah. So <clears throat> there we are. The very vanilla. Looking Froyo. Cyanogen mod statistics enabling. No, okay. So, as I say, it is very vanilla looking, but it's heavily tweaked. I see this is the home. Okay, you can move the home screens and add home screens, I assume. I haven't used Cyanogen mod myself for a little while, to be honest, so. Because um, I don't think it appeared on the. Uh, are we on a okay, yes, yeah, so it comes with ADW Launcher, which I'm not a big fan of myself, but um, I know many people like it. You can drop things down onto the bottom there. I didn't mean to. Uh, and by sort of. No. Oh. I thought by swiping down you got your oh okay you've got to be very precise on it well not very but hit the address slow no see this perhaps one of the reasons I wasn't a big fan so if I press on it and slide down I push them out of the way this is brings them into view I think you can put up to sort of five or six different apps on there I mean it's you know useful I just prefer launch pro where I can slide back and forth um, so in the settings, again, all very vanilla looking, so where we used to have colourful icons down the side, it's not, it's all black and white. Um, most of it's the same, but you'll notice the Cyanogen mod settings. Okay, so that's where we can use apps to SD. Input settings. Trackball wake, we don't have one, so if you see at the bottom there. Performance settings. Dragons ahead. So there's a few uh, geeky settings in there. Enable quiet hours. So there are quite a lot of sort of useful features. Render effect. Um, I believe this means. You go to night mode and it only uses certain LEDs. Um, you can have a widget on your screen that you tap and it does that. And why, you might ask? Well, it just uses a lot less uh, battery power if it's only using the red LEDs as opposed to all the LEDs, I believe. This is one thing I loved when I did use this on my Nexus One. So the automatic uh, lighting 
always used to annoy me a little bit because it was always just slightly darker than I would want it. So by enabling custom, you can actually edit the levels. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly how this works. Um, okay, I believe the number on the side there is how bright the proximity sensor is sensing. And as you can see at the top there, it's at 90 at the minute, so we're in this, this band here. The number on the right is then what brightness it will have for the screen and for the buttons. So in fact the buttons come on just we go underneath 90, and they are. I don't know quite how we can... Can I get him over 90 somehow? Face it up towards the light? No. Nope. So 40 in fact. 90... It's not going to do it. But in theory I get it up over 90 and the lights along the button on the buttons go off. So um, yeah, that, that was one of my favourite features. A status bar we can tweak so we can have it so it shows the actual percentage in the in the battery. Well, it was anyway, I think. Um, you can turn off the clock. Show decibels is that? Oh, that's the actual. I get it. So the, instead of just having a signal bar, it will show the actual like um, reading. Uh, date and provider, notification, colours, tweaks, extras. Accelerometer rotation, so you can say which, which angles you want it to work. Are you going to do it now? No. Nope. Perhaps I'm going to turn it on. Interesting. Hopefully it's one of them quick boots. Otherwise I'll do a quick bit of editing. Yeah, it's one of them quick boots where it's just the actual um, launcher basically that rebooted there rather than the whole phone. But still, shows perhaps it's not the most stable. Not the most, uh, not the most stable of ROMs. Anyway, that was it really, just so you could have a quick look at Cyanogen Mod um, on the Desire HD. Seems pretty quick. There are a few nice features, but I gotta be honest. I'll probably go. I'll restore using Clockwork uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. I'll restore my Sense ROM. I think. But for some people, they prefer the vanilla plain. I think this probably will be quite quick, even when you've got lots of apps installed. Um, <clears throat> but that's it. That's Signage Mod on the Desire HD. Uh, read hemmerdroids.net, you'll find there how you can actually install this if you want. It is a bit tricky, you've got to get S off, you've got to install a custom recovery. But once you've done those two, the uh, a whole world of ROMs open up. And uh, me being a bit geeky, that's why I do the website, uh, I love putting different ROMs on. So, my name's Andy, hemmerdroids.net.